Hello guys, welcome to my channel. This is Amit, your host for this episode. So in this video, I will be talking about Microsoft Edge of Fundamental Exam, which is also known as AZ900. I will be talking about how you can plan and prepare this exam and also give the exam test for free. So without further delay, let's get started. So Microsoft AZ900 exam is basically designed for people who are looking to build their career in cloud or also those people who are trying to learn cloud technology in general. It gives high level information on cloud concepts and also the services that are being offered by uh, Microsoft Azure. To talk about Microsoft Azure, it is the second biggest player after Amazon Web Services in terms of market value uh, to provide different cloud services. It has a global reach with offering more than 200 services. There are so many things that we can do uh, with the cloud and there's huge potential. With the growing demand of cloud technologies, now companies are migrating their existing on-premise infrastructure to cloud. And with this demand, there are going to be needs of people who has these cloud skills. And I think this is a first stepping stone to build a career towards cloud. So without any delay, I would like to jump onto the resources that I have for you guys so that you can follow these and pass the exam for free. Alright guys, so let's jump onto my browser and I will be showing you a couple of resources that um, you can use to prepare for this exam. And uh, so all the resources that are available on the internet should be enough for you to prepare and uh, give exam for free. So the first thing is um, uh, this page. So this is a Microsoft Learn page. So this is basically a platform that Microsoft had designed and to be honest this is an amazing platform uh, where you can get all the information and all the knowledge that you need to pass with this exam and it's not just for AZ900 there are so many Microsoft certification exams and so many documents that are available in this Microsoft Learn page so I would highly recommend for you guys to go through this page and use this resource to prepare for exam because it basically covers everything that is required for you to attend the exam all right so <clears throat> in this space i can see that it says candidate for this exam should have foundational knowledge of cloud services and how those services are provided with microsoft azure the exam is intended for candidates who are just beginning to work with cloud-based solution and services or are new to azure so as i mentioned earlier in this video so this is very fundamental exam covering the fundamental uh, of the cloud technologies and also the services that Microsoft is offering right now. So uh, if you go and scroll down, you, you'll see how you can schedule exam. And also uh, if you see on this section skilled major, this is the most important part. And this is um, this gives you overview on areas that this exam will test you on. So for example, the first thing is describe cloud concept, which covers 25 to 30%. Likewise, um, Azure architecture and services for 35 to 40. And there's a good chunk of Azure management and governance as well, 30 to 35%. So these are the requirement and these are the areas where you get the questions from. And if you scroll down, here are everything that is required for the exam. They have designed this in a learning path so that you can follow this learning path in an organized manner so that at the end of this learning path you will be ready to sit for this exam so let for example if i click for the first module there is three more module that you need to complete where it describes about the cloud and then there is um, benefit of cloud services and different types of cloud services types so they have like organized in a way so that it's so much easier for us to track the way that we're learning so i think this is a very good tool so um, i would highly recommend for you guys to check this out second in my list is not just going through a theory stuff but also playing around with azure uh, portal itself so microsoft has web interface or web portal where you can play around with uh, microsoft azure infrastructure or microsoft azure services so let's jump onto that so normally what you can do is if you type in portal.azure.com on your browser should directly take you to that web page and for that you would require to have a Microsoft account so if you don't have Microsoft account already please create one and in this page once you've gone to the Microsoft Azure portal you will see something like this and 
you would require to uh, sign off for uh, Azure because all the services that you would use to practice in Microsoft Azure is billable. I know there are some services that are free, but uh, not all of them are free. So what you'd need to do is after you created your account, you would need to register yourself in Azure portal and then just create your account, create, uh, put in your details. Uh, probably it's also going to ask you for your credit card information. If you are making one for yourself, like a, like a private or, or your own account. So just bear in mind of that. And just to explore, you can simply create one. Even if you have to use your credit card information, just use them and just have a account ready for you so that you can just simply explore without using any of the services well so third in my list is YouTube itself so YouTube is a great platform to share the knowledge and there are thousands of content where you can find information about this exam out of those there are a couple that I would like to highly recommend for you guys so if you can take some time and watch through those videos I think it's gonna really add up on your preparation so if I go to YouTube, then I if I type AZ900, like there are so many resources available. And out of that, one of the highly recommended video that I found is this one, which is from oh, uh, Free Code Camp Academy, uh, so freecodecamp.org. And this is three hours long video, which covers everything that is required for you to for you to prepare for this exam. And you, if you really are confused about certain part of the exam then you can uh, simply follow the timeline of this video and then jump onto that section straight away and then start uh, learning about the exam. I think this video is um, put together very well so that uh, it just helps so many people to pass the exam. Well so that covers the all the study parts and what about full preparation? Preparation for any exam never completes without having a practice test. Sitting for a practice test before going for this exam is very important. It's just because not only this practice test will help you to test your knowledge, but also it helps you to give a lot more insight about the exam itself. There are so many paid practice tests that you can purchase online and even Microsoft offers a practice test. But as I mentioned in this video, I'll be covering the free stuff. So I will show you the free practice resources where you can get uh, insight about the exam itself and it just helps you prepare for the exam. Well, so I'm back in my browser now and if you look for exam topic so don't worry about it just I'm gonna be putting the links in the description as well so you guys can have those for yourself so if you type exam topics in Google the first link that you see which is exam topic free exam prep by IT professional so this is a free resource that you can use to prepare for this exam if you go inside this web page you'll see something like this and if you, if you click on that search icon and type your exam code which is AZ900 and you should see this and just search so it will uh, take you to this page and see here there are 394 questions um, I don't think that you need to go through all of this question but if you even go for like 50 of these you know it just gives you a clear understanding on uh, what sort of question type you will be facing during the real test so we click here um, it just takes you to the exam types and uh, you can basically try and go through the question try and answer yourself first and then check your answer if it's correct or not well we have come to the final section of this video in this section I will be talking about how you can uh, get the free voucher for this particular exam if you're enjoying this content don't forget to hit that like button and if you haven't already don't forget to subscribe as well let's continue so there is something called Microsoft events and in these events Microsoft provide training about different technologies that they offer. So uh, there is a training session that you would need to attend uh, in order to get the free voucher. So going back to the browser again, um, I have typed Microsoft training events uh, 2022 in search bar and you should see something called Microsoft training catalog. If you click on this icon, it will take you to this page where you, you will see all the events that Microsoft have scheduled uh, for upcoming days. And bear in mind, because these trainings are high in demand and people do the registration beforehand, 
you might not just be able to register like events that is just tomorrow just because there's very limited number of seats that Microsoft uh, provides for each events so what you need to do is you need to look for this training session a couple of weeks earlier and then register yourself so that you can actually attend this exam and to get a voucher it's really important that you attend full series like if there's two day training then you need to attend two day training if there's one then attend one because they will track your attendance so if I go one of the events that I've, I've found already and then you can see something like this you can simply put in your first name last name email company name if you are uh, from any company if not I would just put just ABC you know it doesn't really matter um, as long as you uh, put in some information because if you see this asterisk that means it says that you need to have some information in there and then just put in any job role and put in your country code uh, thing and then just I'm not robot just register simple as it is once you uh, finish this section you'll get a confirmation email and then just simply need to attend the exam so going back to the details in here you'll see it's a virtual training um, for uh, that provides introduction to cloud computing concepts model and services from public to private to um, hybrid cloud so I'm basically telling that it gives cover space pretty much everything that is required for this exam after completing the, this training session, it just prepares you for the cloud migration with the training to evaluate your existing on-premise environment. And um, the most importantly, take the Microsoft Fundamental Certification Exam at no cost. So within, I think, two to five business days, it will send you an email saying, hey, uh, thank you for attending the session and you can schedule the exam. So it will give you a link where you can possibly uh, book your exam. And then you can just click that link and follow the steps and there will be a voucher for you to claim from where you can book the exam. Well, that's the end of this video. If you really enjoyed this content, don't forget to hit that like button. And if you really want to see more content like this, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I'll see you next time. Take care.